little buddy's been chilling in here for about two hours in a cardboard box. You can see we cut holes as directed by Raptor Trust for air. We put a towel inside and we placed it on a heating pad set at the lowest setting. We put it in the quiet, dark basement to see if the bird would be a little bit more responsive after resting quietly for a few hours. So now we're gonna open the box and see if little Robbie the Robin jumps out, we're good to go. And if not, then we're gonna to have to rush him over to the rehabilitation center. So let's see. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? You feeling a little better? You feeling a little better? I'm a little concerned with that left eye. His eyes seem to be clouded over. You think you could fly away? Are you strong enough to fly away? This looks like a fledgling robin to me, and I've heard them in the yard for the past couple days. It's mid-July, and I didn't realize that robins could fledge so late into the summertime. You know, this is like, when you're a mom and you have a really sick baby and you're trying to decide, is it time in the middle of the night to bring him to the hospital or do you just trust your mom gut? And a little more Tylenol and some rest will do it. I think we should take him in. All right, so we're gonna close him back up. You really don't want to stress them. You want to keep it as stress-free as possible for the little buddy. If you can imagine the number of birds that die every year from colliding with office windows and house windows and all different kinds of glass. And today, that's what happened in our home. It's something I've been really working on for the last two years. When we first moved into the house, we have large plate glass windows in the front and then we have glass deck doors in the back and we were getting bird strikes on a frequent basis and there is nothing sadder than the sound of a bird hitting the window and then you go outside and you see this beautiful little creature underneath the window. So I've been working really hard on trying to lessen that from happening and it's been working but today we had a little rob, it looks like a robin fledgling. Poor little guy just went right into the deck door. He's not in the greatest condition. I've taken some video of it, which will show. We're calling him Robbie. So if it's Robbie or Roberta, so Robbie the Robin. He's on his way now to the Raptor Trust. Uh, the Raptor Trust is in New Jersey. It's one of the top rehabilitation centers in New Jersey. It is an organization that I've donated to and I encourage you to donate as well. An amazing place and they serve thousands of birds every year and they take care of situations just like this. You are not allowed to take a bird into your home and recuperate yourself. It's, it's against the law. And really, if you're a novice like me, you don't want to do that either. It's not, it's not something that you're equipped to do. It's not something that you know how to do. And even though you have a great deal of love and care and concern for birds, like I do, we're just not, we're not professionals. So these folks are the professionals. And it's Saturday, it's the middle of July, we're in the midst of COVID, and somebody was there and answered the phone, which to me was amazing. So it is three o'clock, I'm supposed to get there by 3.30. We're going to drop Robbie the Robin off, and hopefully the folks at Raptor Trust can save his life. Raptor Trust, finally, and I'm going to put on my mask and let's go see if we can save a bird. So I dropped a little guy off and he's not a fledgling, he's a juvenile robin and they said he's definitely a little woozy so they got to give him some med cam and that may help. Um, and I have his number, his official number, and directions. They're wonderful, they have admission information, and he has a little number here, 
and you can check up on their website at the Raptor Trust website and um, they'll be able to give you an update on whether he survived his injuries. So sadly, sometimes that's what happens in these instances because um, the birds just can't really see their reflection really well in the glass. And in another video, we're gonna talk about how to prevent these types of things from happening or at least eliminate the, um, the chance of them happening. We're really grateful for people like the Raptor Trust in the deep woods of New Jersey, where we are right now, about an hour from our house. They're doing wonderful things to make sure that um, birds are, are kept safe and healthy and recover from their injuries. And they don't request any payment to do that. So I was able to drop this bird off today and it's gonna get the best possible care. We hope for the best for our little Robin, our little Robbie Robin, and um, we'll check back and we'll have an update soon. So. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Let's get home. So I have a sad update. Um, our Robin friend didn't make it and he died last night at Raptor Trust. Um, I was hoping against hope that he would make it through and recover from his injuries, but that just wasn't going to happen in this instance. So it's a, a really important reminder for us to equip our outside spaces with um, the products that are available to help birds from striking our windows and our large expanses of glass. And those products are available to us. Um, below in the description, I'm going to be listing some of the items that are available on Amazon. Um, I'm going to have a PDF that talks about window strikes. And if you have any ideas or any inventions or any products that you know, that help prevent window strikes. That would be really, really helpful for us to share with all of our viewers at birdmom.com. So please let me know um, and we can spread the word to prevent this from happening in the future. Thanks everybody.